Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a decluttering video and I think there will be more than one. I am going to start with my lipsticks and <laughs> I saw a video that Angelica Lidemar put out a couple of days ago and I was like, I want to do that. So that's what I'm doing today. I am trying a new setup for this and I really hope you like this setup. I hope it will work. We will see. As for right now, when I've tried it a little bit, it feels good. So if you like this, I am planning on doing my eyeshadow palette collection with the same setup. But yeah, if you want me to, if you want me to see, if you want to see me decluttering all my lipsticks, not all my lipsticks, go through my lipsticks. Um, I hope. Yeah, just keep on watching. Okay, so I just think we get started and I don't have a beauty room, I have a small apartment, I am not going to have this perfect. So yeah, I think we just get started and these are filled with like pollen <laughs> because it's, is it even called pollen? I don't know. Um, I think we'll start with this and this is just, I just don't have any space for my lipsticks so this is just where I put them and yes I think we just get started with these we can take out the things that aren't lipsticks so I have a highlighting stick from Nabla it doesn't need to be here and also my serum foundation it doesn't need to be here either so I don't know am I going to go by brand maybe we can if I put this aside a little bit so we can start with Kaleidos and as for right now, these are the colors I have. There is one more, but I, when I'm filming this, I haven't received the PR packaging yet. So these are the ones that I have. And I'm going to keep them all. It is... I love these two reds and also I think it's this. Yes, this one. Immersion. And I don't know if I'm going to swatch that much in this video. I think I'm going to swatch... When it's something that I don't know if I want to keep. But I'm keeping all of these Kaleidos because I really love them. They are more like lip stains. So, so good. So I will keep these. And where should I put everything that I will keep? Because it feels like I want to rearrange them. Because I don't have any good order. Next we can take Menagerie. I have three. I don't know the name of all of these. Because this has lost the sticker, but I have one that is like a purpley tone, one that is a little bit more to the red, and then this teal one. This is not my favorite formula. I think these are pretty dry, and also I don't like the applicator on these. I know that they have changed it, but it's one of these. Like these big flat ones. I think they're a little bit hard to maneuver, so to speak, but <laughs> I am going to keep all of these three because I, I still like them. They are not a favorite, but it's fun to use them together with my Menagerie palettes. I also do have some from the body shop and here I have, I have some more, but in this container that we're working on now, I have these five. So I think I haven't, I know that I bought this one, it's a metallic, I bought it on sale. I think the other ones that I, yeah, I bought this one also. The other freeze I have gotten in Advent Calendar, I at least think, I don't know. But I actually like these and I think they are really, really good. I really like this one, this is the Apple Taffy and... Maybe I can swatch this because I like this really much. I love the dew food on these. But this is just such a nice gloss. So I'm keeping this all because these are actually some of the glosses I really like. But maybe I should... I have this that is a metal lip liquid. Maybe it is this one that I like. Yeah, it's this one that I like. I have another matte lip that I hate. So, <laughs> these are staying as well. This is going so good. 
so good. Then we can take the four I have from Lime Crime. I really like these. These are not my favorite formula either, but I think they are really good. And what is you? What is you? What is this? I think that these are really good. I actually love this shade the most that is called Riot. It is a little bit more of a neutral. I really like this shade. So I am going to keep these as well. I think it is some different formulas to different colors, but at the same time, I think they are really good. Not the best, but really good. And then I actually think we're coming into the first declutter. This is a black one from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. This is so freaking dry. I bought this a long time ago and it has always been really, really dry. And I bought another black one from Nabla that I have here. So maybe I should swatch these because I don't feel like I need two black metal liquid lipsticks. So this is the one from Nabla and this is the one from Zombie Cosmetics. And this is called Black Cat, the one from Zombie Cosmetics and the one from Nabla is a black champagne. And it feels like they are And it feels like they are like equally black. And you can see with the black cat, this one from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, it's like spreading out. So I will actually declare this one. First one declare and keep this from Nabla because Nabla has like my absolute favorite formulas on liquid lipsticks. From Colourpop, I actually only have two liquid lipsticks. I don't know how that happened, but I only got these two. It's November and Freaking Frack. I think Freaking Frack is discontinued. I really like it. It is though a little bit more purple than I expected it to be, but I'm going to keep it either way. And then I have the November. And if you have been here for a little while, this is like my absolute favorite pink lipsticks of all time. I love this. I usually don't use that much of pink lipsticks, but this one I really, really, really like. I also have these two from Lethal that I'm keeping. And this is Departure, the light one, and Anemia, the dark one. I really like them. I have tested them both. It's good pigment. They are a little bit drier than I would like because I like my liquid lipsticks to be a little bit more like wet when I apply them, but they are really good. They are just really dry when you apply them, but they are good. So I'm going to keep them and I want to buy more. Maybe we'll see how good I do this if I am allowing myself to buy more. Okay, and then I also have like a mix with different brands. So I have a lip gloss here that is from Wet n Wild. As you know, I don't support Wet n Wild anymore because of their problems with being cruelty free. I really though like this gloss, but I think I actually will declutter it because I don't use this, this that much. And I have other glosses that I can use instead, so I will not keep this. And then this one, this is from Linda Holberg, and I'm going to keep this as well. This is lip oil, Blossom lip oil, and I think it really... It is really good and for you that are in my age and older, do you see it's a ball in this? <laughs> like it was in the 90s. I really like this and I'm going to keep it. Fenty. I hope this is in focus, I can't really see. Um, this is from Fenty. This was the Christmas collection Underdog. 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 I hate the applicator. It is so small <laughs> so it's so hard to see what you're doing i think i like the color but i hate the applicator but i'm going to keep this and i have to use this more i've used it like twice so i want to keep it have to use it more i have this one from nyx i have a lot of other lipsticks from nyx but this is like my favorite this is in alabama and do you know what is a red one? This is such a nice red. And it is so matte and it's just 
an amazing color. I hate the packaging though, but the color is amazing, so I'm going to keep it. This one from Anastasia is also going to be with me. This is Rosewood. This is such a nice color. Now I'm doing this that I said I wasn't going to do. This is... Uh, I love Rosewood. I use this when I want something kind of red, but not red. Then I use the Rosewood. I really, really do like it. The Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. It's staying. I love this. It's kind of like my favorite lipstick ever. And then I have this one that is from a Swedish brand that is not longer available, Nivine Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Anna Anna. Anna Anna. And one reason that I keep it is because of the packaging, because you see, it looks like this. I usually don't use nudes that much, but this is actually kind of nice. Maybe it's a little bit more orangey pink nude-ish that I want it to be, but I think it's going to stay a little while. Then I have some from Colourpop and I think I'm going to start with these normal ones. And I actually don't really know which one I have. I have Better Off, a reddish orangey brown one, keeping it. And then I have Third Eye. This one is a really cool color, but I don't know. Okay, maybe you survived this declutter, declutter at least. Then we have Uno Mas, and I think I'm going to declutter this one. This is not the shade. This is not the shade for me. I don't know why I bought it, but... This one I am decluttering because Unamas. Have you ever seen me in like this color? No. And then we have Stone Fox. This I think Paulina loves. That's one of the reasons why I bought it, but I. Is this me? No, it's absolutely not. And. I'm not going to keep this either. And then we have Aeronaut and it is a black one and I'm going to keep this because this is not a liquid lipstick. This is bullet lipstick. And yeah, it's black. I'm going to keep it. And then the last one is Liquid Courage and it's a red one. Who would have known? I'm going to keep this because, you know me, I love my red lipsticks. And then the last six that I have left is the Sophia and I Guard and Colourpop. And I'm going to keep this because I love all of them. My favorite is absolutely Fred, the red one. And also, I love the pinkish one, Bury Me in Lipstick. I don't know what happened there, but I am keeping these. I love the packaging and I really love I don't know if you can see but on the lipsticks it is a little bats So I am also keeping these. So that was all of the lipsticks I have. I wish <sighs> That was all of the lipsticks in this container so I guess I'm just going to clean this and then we will put in some lipsticks in this. Okay actually I think I will wait because I want to see how much I can take out from my collection and see if I can like rearrange all my lipsticks so I am not going to put anything in this one yet. So then I have some drawers that I have my lipsticks in and here I've tried to sort them by brand. So here I have most of my Jeffree Star ones except for Unicorn Blood this has to be. So I have minis and two big ones and we can start with the big ones. These I am keeping. This is I'm shook that he did together with many MUA. I love this shade and this is Pumpkin Pie. Like, it has a little shimmer to it. It's an orange and I'm going to keep both of them. 
But then, these minis. I think that some of them actually have dried up. I'm going to take like the Queen Bee. Because I hate to use this on my lips because it's awful on my lips. I actually think that... Yeah. This isn't good anymore. So, I'm <laughs> declaring this one. And maybe it's, it's like this with all of them. Yeah. You see can't like I know that you're supposed to shake them but it's like nope not the orange one either and how is it with the purple one this is actually good so the purple one is staying okay I just have to go throw them This one that I actually really like. Okay, I'm going to be so frustrated if I'm going to try to use this. Okay, so I will just go throw. Go, go throw. I will just see which one of these that are like okay and then I come back to you later and I can show you which ones that aren't that good anymore okay so a little tip for me if you want to swatch all your liquid Jeffree Star lipsticks just don't do it <laughs> I like, couldn't get it away I hope it doesn't show on camera I have to declare four of them um, flamethrower the orange one queen bee the pink yellow one <laughs> One of my favorites, Adrogeny, Adrogeny, and Breakfast at Tiffin's. <laughs> These were so dry, I think you can see it when I take it up. It's like no product on them. So I am going to declare all four of these because I can't use them. So maybe now I can fit all of the remaining ones. Next up we have the NYX drawer and if you're wondering about the amount of minis I had one of their lippy countdown I think it was called like an advent calendar with all lipsticks so like all of my minis are from there and I I don't know I don't really know because I have some bigger necks. So maybe I should take all the necks in the same. In the same. Oh, this is from Lumiana. This is not from NYX. Of course. Do I want. I haven't even tried this. I do not want this. Because I haven't even tried it. It's unused. So. I don't think it does look used, so maybe one of my friends want this or I throw it away. Okay, so I have some here that have survived more than one. Oh, this is not from NYX either. This is from Sleek. It's called Vamp, I think. It doesn't look its best. It looks sweaty and no. I have saved this in one declaring because I didn't have any lipstick that looked like this at that time but now I have so this is going and like a part of me just want to declutter all of these because I don't use them that much I have some more NYX I just remember Jesus it's like NYX is my favorite brand if you really like this I also have this one from NYX and where do should we start with these maybe these are the liquid suede's these are some of my absolute favorite this soft spoken is one of my absolute favorite shades ever and i should have one more next i think where are you then nobody knows because i don't have any order Okay, I have these candles as well. I'm going to keep all of these big ones because I just love them. So 
this big one from NYX Art Staying. Okay, so back to the minis. I... I don't know. Like glasses. I don't use glasses that much and I have a lot of glasses. Maybe we should just start here. So, which one is this? This is Copenhagen. I, these are so, like, old. And this is... Um, their soft matte lip cream. I really like this. These were some of the first, like, matte liquid lipsticks I've tried. But, like, I don't know. No. Declaring you. This is in Paris. This is really, really pink. This is... This is not color for me. Declaring this one as well. This is a bar glass, and these glasses I really actually like. This is in sugar cookie. Ooh. Maybe I don't like this one. No. Nope. Declaring that one. And this is exotic in the lip lingerie, and this looks pretty dried up. And these aren't actually my favorite from NYX. This formula. No. Declaring that one as well. This is a liquid suede in vintage retro. In vintage, maybe. This one I actually. Ooh, this one I really like. So, this is a keeper. This is the soft matte lip cream in Sao Paulo. I have used this in at least one video, I think. Feels a little bit dry. Declaring you. This is an intense bar glass in Tre Leche. French is <laughs> some of my strength here in life. I actually like these intense, gl gl intense bar glass. So this is staying. This is a bar glass in creme brulee. Creme brulee? Creme brulee. This is all staying because I really like this one. Then it's a um, butter gloss in raspberry tart. No. Then I have these two Simply Vamp and Simply Red. I think I'm going to declutter both of these. These are like big crayons for your lips. I don't think I will ever use this. So declutter. Then I have three of those. Butter gloss lipsticks. These are like pretty sheer lipsticks. This is in seashell, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this one up here. Hell to the no. And this is root beer float. This maybe. But do I am going to use something this? shiny and glossy on my lips and this is in ripe berry I actually never think I will use this if I'm going to be honest so declaring this and then I have three matte lipsticks <laughs> these are these are really good and this is in this is a red one Eden. I think this is like a really true red. Can you even see shit? I think I will actually keep that one. And then this is in up the base. Ooh, that was a really cool color. You are staying. And then I have Indian in the flick. This is super orange, I think. And yeah, okay. So in this then, I have the big ones from NYX and I. These high voltage, I think they have survived like three declarings. It's in Wine and Dine and Dahlia. No. I haven't used them, so like almost at all and then I have these two in full throttle full throttle 
full fruttel and night crawler and kiss the dust this kiss the dust i have loved so freaking much but right now no i am declaring you it feels like my nyx days when lipsticks is over and this is night crawler are you okay no no and it felt like it was a little bit broken and i don't know if it's getting easier or harder but now we only have this left the big ones and this is bar glass in devil's food cake and this is so old almost like five years no i'm going to declare this this is in meringue and i love this this was absolutely one of my absolute favorite glasses at one time but these are also like so old i don't even know if nyx does these anymore and this is an indian food cake this is in cherry pie this is this i've used a lot not <laughs> Not in the latest, but I don't know what she... Uh, Prague. I've actually been to Prague. I've had this for so long as well. This this intense bar glass. If you like glasses, you should check these out if they're still available. You see this? This is like a glass. Okay, maybe I actually will keep this one. This isn't as old as the other ones. And now got it on my hand yeah I'm, I'm good at this oh i remember this this is in transylvania i hunted this down because it was like uh, out of stock everywhere and now i'm going to declaring it this is actually going great with my next things and this is in cans oh, this also feel like it has dried up so now, and this is an intense butter glass in marshmallow, toasted marshmallow even. I think this also is old. This, this looks pretty good actually. Okay, you can stay as well. And then I have a matte liquid lip, a matte lipstick in Merlot. And this looks a little bit funky. It smells, it smells smells funky so you will go and then I have this one that is dolly I think lip smacking fun colors yeah this is a fun color doesn't smell bad it is like okay I think this is not good I think we just take it down and throw it away. So okay, that went pretty good with my NYX ones. So I'm just going to take this off. My hand is actually itching right now. Going to take that out, this off and then we continue with some harder things I can promise you. But we, I did really, really good with this NYX ones. I have to give myself that. But let's hop into uh, the harder things okay do you know what i actually decided to do i'm going to declare like all my nicks except for the candle slick and the liquid suede these are really old and i i like don't use them so yeah i am declaring these ones as well so okay it's getting harder and harder because now we're coming down to the lipsticks that i actually use and love and i have some nablas and also the black champagne that i showed you these ooh, these are all staying i actually bought a new one unspoken that i haven't tried yet but i'm so looking forward to it but these are staying all the one from nablas And then I have two liquid lips, matte liquid lips from uh, Body Shop. I really like these. These are so, so comfortable. So I'm keeping these two as well. 
And then I have all my lipsticks from Colourpop and I think at least I'm going to declare one of them. This is Aftershock. This is also like a pink that I really like. I think I need to stop swatch though, but I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. This is Lumiere. I actually think I will declare this. Okay, I need to swatch something. Maybe I should swatch on my other hand. Maybe that helps. It looks really good. Okay, you are staying as well. Then I have Tootsie, this one. I really loved it when I bought it, but like now, I don't know. I actually think I will declare this one. I don't like, but maybe. Okay, I will keep it. Then we have Oh Snap, and I've, this one I am declaring. I don't know what has happened with this one. This is supposed to be a matte one, and this is like butter. Something is wrong with this, so I am not going to keep it. Then we have Gold Digger. This is one of my newest ones. Really like it. <laughs> of course, going to keep it. Brink. I think this one. Yeah. This I bought a same time, I think, as O Snap. This is still normal. So I don't know if it is something with the O Snap. This is Cami. I like this one as well. These are pretty similar. And then I have a primer. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have little things. This is a pink one. I'm going to keep it. Love Life. Keeping it. It's a red one. I love this one. One of my absolute favorite reds. And then ink blot. And this. I'm keeping this one as well. <laughs> what is this for kind of colors? This was easier than I thought if I'm going to be honest. And now we are going into controversy number two. So this is, as you can see, a lot of Kat Von D. And first off, we can take out this one from NYX. It's a high voltage. Declaring this one. Okay. I have one liquid lipstick from Anastasia in Ashton. I really like this formula. I know a lot of people doesn't like it, but I really like it. And going to keep it. I have a lipstick from Body Shop in Sienna Rose. I don't know. I actually think I never used this one. No, this is dry. Declaring that one. And then I have four minis from Anastasia. These I'm keeping. I really like those minis. So... I think it's the matte nude kit or something like that. Keeping these. And then another one from NYX. Do you see where my love of lipsticks was in the beginning? NYX. Declaring that one. And then I have my Kat Von D's. And as you may know, I don't use Kat Von D on my channel. I may be thinking about doing it again because it's not Kat Von D anymore. She's not in the company, and these are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks. So, I have one of the Everlasting... Is this a collection under <laughs> cluttering? Everlasting Glimmer Wheel in Rocker. This is amazing. When all the f shit went down with Kevin Lee, I was like, fudge, I really like this. So, I'm keeping this one. Then I have some lippies. I have two minis that I got like a gift. And I have the controversy shade Underage Red that is actually really good. So I'm keeping it. And then I have Double Dare that I like forgot about. And then I think it was Jessica that used it in a video and I was like keeping it. And then I have three big ones. I have one black in Slayer. I don't need this one. And then I have Cathedral. Looks 
like this. This is this looks really nice. Yes, it does. I'm going to keep it. And then I also have Lovecraft. I really like this one as well. I think this was my first lipstick from Kat Von D. Yeah, I'm keeping it. KVD Beauty. Vegan Beauty or what they are called now. I don't know. Then I have the liquid lipsticks. And I actually just think that I'm going to keep them. But maybe I should actually look, see how they look. This is Lolita. Still smell the same. This is Sanctuary. This is pretty new. This is one that I also bought right at the sheet storm. And this is Ludwig. This has been one of my absolute favorites. It still smells good. It still swatches amazing. I have Ophelia. I have Bow and Arrow. This was so popular when it came out. I have Lolita 2. I have Belle Charette. I don't know if it's called it. Uh, Nosferatu. This is actually really cool. Uh, dark red. I've never used it on my channel. And then I also have Requiem. Requiem? Requiem. This. Will I ever use this? I don't know. And then I also have a mini with uh, the Lolita mini. This I actually think of giving away to a friend because I don't need this mini. Okay, so these are some of my lost lipsticks. I have some lip pencil as well. I... I will see if we're going to declare them together or not. We can start with some that I'm taking out. I'm taking out this NYX Simply Vamp because I just don't like them. Then I have this lid from Elizabeth Moth. I don't know if they are cruelty free so I'm going to not keep this. And then what do we have? We can take out some things that I know that I'm keeping. I am... going to keep all the ones I have from Linda Hallberg. I think I'm missing one actually. Pink opal. Yeah, I have Famous as well. Somewhere maybe in my bag because I use these so often. So these I'm going to keep because I love them. <sighs> okay, it's warm. And my battery lamp is blinking, so we'll see how long we will get. I also have this one from Wet n Wild that I really love, but I am not supporting Wet n Wild anymore. Don't use Wet n Wild anymore, so I'm going to declare this one. Really like it all. Ba -ba -ba. Then I have this one from Milani that has stayed for such a long time through all the clutters. Decluttering it today. Okay, what do we have more? I have this one, a matte, a matte metallic liquid lipstick from Isadora. I'm not going to keep this one because I hate it. When you smack your lips together, it's like it's stuck in each other and you only have color on one lip. So I don't know why I still have it. I also have this metal liquid lip from LA Girl. It looks really cool. But I think it's pretty old. Not keeping it. Then some of my old trusters are from Makeup Store. Makeup Store was one of my absolute favorite makeup brands when I st first come into makeup. These are so old. I maybe shouldn't even look at them because I'm not going to. No not keeping these and here I have almost a black one and I love this color but I'm not keeping it I think this is going to be the only one I keep from makeup store this is fussy it's a pretty cold toned lipstick and this is one of the new ones I have had this for maybe a year or maybe more I don't know but I'm keeping this 
Then I have some glasses from Makeup Store. Oh, I have this pen from Makeup Store as well. This is really, really pink. I'm not going to keep it. I also have these glasses. This one I got from my boyfriend. I was so happy when he bought this for me. But I don't think I will keep any of them because they are old and I don't use. And this is separated. So, no, I'm not keeping any of these. Okay, then I have this one. This is an oil fusion lip gloss from Lumiere. This looks a little bit separated, but at the same time. I think I will keep this. So okay, I apologize if it is a little bit of a different angle. My camera died, so... Okay, now I am back. I found the last liquid, the uh, last lipstick from Linda Holberg. Uh, this is some famous, I'm going to keep it as well. And then I also bought this. I haven't used this yet. I got it like two days ago. It's... Super clicky from NYX in Risk Taker. It is a red one. I don't know if you saw a shit. But okay, and I'm of course keeping this one as well. So, I think I was on this one when the camera died. This is from Isadora. It's a twist up lips. I've had this for such a long time. And I like them. I like the color, but I do not use it, but okay. No, I'm declaring this. And then I have two other lipsticks from Isadora. It's Hot Coral. <laughs> this is so old. I think I will declare that. And Heather. I really love this one, but... I haven't used them for such a long time and it feels like I have other lipsticks that I like more so i rather keep them than these. Okay, <laughs> four more to go. So I have this from Lipstick Queen. This is in color Nude Sinner and what I can remember I really like this color and I do really like it. I think I actually will keep this one. And then I have two pens from H&M. They're lip color to go. I don't know if they still have this. I am going to decluttering both, both of them because it's nothing that I use anymore. And then I have a lipstick from Fenty. And I am a little bit annoyed with myself. This is in the color Yadig. Your dig, yeah, dig. I don't know. It's this color. Like, I love to like wear crazy lip colors, but when am I going to use this? But I'm still going to keep it. And I bought this color because I wanted to buy something that I don't have. Yeah, but I could have bought something that I think I was going to use. So, okay, now I'm going to clean this maybe a little bit. Maybe it was just on the table. I think it's some old eyeshadow. I'm going to clean this and then I will put everything back together. And also I'm going to show you all the things I have decluttered. So I will fix this. I will see if I have this in this video and just have the sound with. I will see. So yeah, <laughs> I'll fix everything and then I come back.
Okay, so these are the things that I have decluttered and I decluttered much more than I thought I was going to. I can count them and write it like down here how many I have decluttered. Things I didn't thought I was going to declutter was Jeffree Star, but before I decluttered, they were all dried up, so I can't use them. And also so many nicks, but I, it feels like I have had them for such a long time. I saved the nicks that I actually use and it feels really good. And I, I didn't think I was going to decluttering two Colourpop ones, but I like these shades, but just not on me and now I stabbed one of them. I like them on others, <laughs> that's dangerous thing and now it's all disgusting. I love them on others and not on me. So yeah, this was all I have decluttered. Now I'm like in the mood to declutter more. So I will see what I want to do today. <laughs> yeah, so these are all the lipsticks I declutter. I hope you like this video. And I will see if I will continue doing decluttering videos, but it feels so good to finally have a decluttering my lipsticks because I am thinking about this for such a long time. Okay, so that was my decluttering and oh my god, I have many lipsticks. Not as many now as I had in the beginning of this video. I really hope you like this video and it's coming more. Yeah, I think base products will be the next one. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!